Hey Capricorn, how you doing? Gonna be doing your reading here for November. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what messages we have for you guys. And uh, it is a general read, so take what resonates. And let's see what's going on here for Capricorn. What messages do we have here for Capricorn? Starting off with the lovers, Gemini energy. Uh, the lovers is, um, could be romance here, could be a connection. I'm reading intuitively here, so it could also be in reverse. Maybe someone you're thinking about that you're not connected to. But we'll see. This could just be partnerships too. So it doesn't have to be romantic for everyone. But lovers is just technically sometimes it is. All right. So let's see the challenge. Let's see what's going on here. We have the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I mean, you could be dealing with someone on this reading here, Capricorn. I mean, I try to focus more on, this might be a little bit a mix of, um, you know, what you're focused on. But I do, if this is the first card coming out, and I'm not going to try to avoid talking about connections because maybe someone needs to hear that here. But the Six of Swords being the challenge, it's like there's a disconnection with the with the connection, but someone wants to move forward towards that. Okay, but it's a challenge here. So we're going to find out if there's any more info on that. So the recent past for Capricorn. The Emperor. So you've been working on yourself. I mean, you're focusing on your own things here, concentrating on just getting things done. I feel like the past... Recent past energy is like more focused on the, the basic things that need to get done, like work and your finances and budgeting and maybe looking at things like that, right? So that emperor energy is really focused on um, focused on their foundation, but also I feel like there's an energy of focusing into the future and really looking at your month and, and you know, like how you want things accomplished for yourself here, okay? Um, which is interesting. That may be the reason why there's a connection here that wants to move towards you because they see you moving forward and, and focusing on yourself. Let me see the focus here for Capricorn. What is the focus? Page of Cups. Interesting. I don't know. I mean, for some of you guys, you might be thinking of a connection here. Because that Page of Cups, this is a little bit of daydreaming, but I mean, like, it's also using your intuition because the Page of Cups doesn't have to be like someone's offering something all the time. The Page of Cups is also daydreaming, uh, maybe thinking of an idea, trying to see if it works, you know. Um, hopefully you guys are not thinking about pigs flying because they're like, you know, I'm just joking with you guys. But I mean, like, there's, there is some sort of daydreaming energy going here. So your focus here might be thinking of something here of the in, in the future that you want to create for yourself, but it's in a planning stage, you know? That's kind of what I'm getting. So let me see the per, um, possibilities here. And if you guys are looking at connections and everything, I can pick that up as somebody's wanting to come forward and offer you something, but I mean, that is that is a typical, right? I mean, that's, that's, not, that's not what I'm picking up intuitively, but um, I feel like you're focused more, this is your focus here, Page of Cups. This is you dreaming of the future, trying to create something for yourself, okay? Let me see the possibilities here. You have the Seven of Wands in the near future. The higher font. Yeah, I mean, this is, this could be Capricorn. Okay, so now that I see it like this, it's like you're moving away from someone that you deeply, deeply loved. Um, and, and I and I say this um, with seriousness here, because that lover's energy, it's like, here, I'll put it this way. And the Four of Swords right after that, too. It's like, so the Four of Swords, you can see she's moving forward, right? So this is you, you know, wanting or having, trying to move forward from a connection that you really, really wanted in the past. And, and she's not so happy. I'm not saying that you're sad about it, but there's a sense of, like, worry, you know, how you're moving away from this, right? Letting it go. And the Lover's Energy here, again, this is a, felt like a deep connection here for you. So you are finally moving away from that and choosing to work on you because I see the higher font here and the seven of wands. The seven of wands is pulling your energy back and 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 not really letting not really letting people come close to you in, in terms of your energy because you you are having this this sense of wanting to be alone is what I'm getting here. Okay. There's a sense of you in this emperor energy. I'm not saying it's a bad energy. It's like you are wanting to create something for yourself Seven of Wands, stay away from me in a good way, right? And the higher font, I need to work on myself. I need to focus on me, right? 
that's what that's what you're walking into and that capricorn's kind of like i did really want this connection i really cared for this connection but because this connection didn't you know it's it's the you know lovers in reverse we've been separated it didn't come through it, it is not coming right and you said i need to walk away from that and focus on me and it's like puts you 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 you're in your power or moving into your power but at the same time it's moving you in a different um you know, different way of thinking, different way of creating things now. It's you're starting to realize how how more powerful you are in a way. Whatever this is that you're doing. I don't know. May not resonate for a lot of you guys, but that's what I'm picking up here for you, Capricorn. So there's a lot of changes. I feel like you know, with this full moon and um Taurus coming up is it's another eclipse as well. We just kind of went through another uh through an eclipse with the new moon in Scorpio. And, you know, there's there's a time frame of a lot of this, you know, emotions coming up, accepting things for what they are and moving forward. But there's the sense that, you know, moving forward with, with the sense of gratitude as well, because that higher font is happy. See, really, really happy about moving forward and feeling very confident in and optimistic about the future. Three of Wands, right? So. So it's good energy that you're moving into. It's like a very healing sense here i'm picking that up with that seven of wands so let me see your power here capricorn we have the king of pentacles so you are moving into your power that's exactly what i was saying here let's see the environment and this is again emperor with the king of pentacles being over here you're this is about you and your foundation and what you want here ten of cups your environment and again ten of cups doesn't have to be that you're married and all that stuff it's like whatever you're Define what your Ten of Cups is. What is your happiness, okay? Um, and that's what you're, you want your environment to be that now. I feel like there's been a time where you just been, you know, you let things kind of ride and, and maybe even wasted time in certain situations. But now it's like, you know, you're choosing you and, and you want happiness. You're done with it. Let me see the hopes and fears, though, for Capricorn. The Magician. Gemini, Virgo energy. What is the outcome here? You're going to be, it's a very strong, whoever this is, is very strong in, um, you know, creating the lifestyle that they want and the four of pentacles. And you're not even telling everyone about it, keeping everything to yourself, strength, Leo energy, having the confidence here. Yeah, I mean, the, the reading is really straightforward. I don't have to clarify much. Um, I mean, the ten of cups, I can also see it as... Um, your environment right now, I mean, this is future energy, but I'd say your environment right now is you're looking at the, I said you're having gratitude. I think I said that in the reading here, but it's like you're seeing that, you know, you, you, you're you seeing what your Ten of Cups is looking like. The magician being your hopes and fears, it's like you're starting to manifest. You're creating the lifestyle that you want. Four of Pentacles is just simply just, you're not sharing that. You want to keep to yourself. There's a there's an energy here of just keeping to yourself and and working on you but also processing a past situation but not telling everyone about it because that lover's energy i don't care who you are capricorn i mean you can't deny you love this person you you do have a very deep down connection with them and i feel like that is helping you heal and move forward is because you're realizing that that is the love that you you always wanted and it's like you you're not having you you accept even if there was a situation in the past it's like this this sort of good memory of this person is helping you move forward here okay let me see the six of swords hermit virgo energy i mean you are just processing this through getting clarity ace of swords i mean like i said this this energy is really clear really clear and i think because you know again i'm picking up that you've you've opened up you you've um it's interesting. I've never really had, uh, I mean, I've had readings here where you can feel the energy, you know, that the love there, but there is, there is a sense of a lot of love here. And for some reason that love is actually healing someone to move forward here into an entirely different path, which is more in tune for your own foundation. But it's just like, you're using it. You, you found a way to really, um, you found a way to heal, you know, in a way it's, it's, it's actually pretty nice. I like it. Um, yeah, I mean, you just you're going through through that, but it's giving you clarity. It's giving you this 
okay, I'm good with it. I'm going to accept that and then move forward here. It's a very good energy to move into. And you're going to be manifesting new things for yourself. So this month of November here is really about um, letting go here. All right, Capricorn. So whoever this resonates with, definitely moving into your power here. So and getting clarity that you need. So if there was someone coming back around, just going to throw this out there. Six of Swords with the lovers here, someone moving towards you, you are still getting clarity that you need. It's like either way, you're going to get what you want, but you're still moving towards your own thing is what I'm getting. So that's what I'm seeing here for you. I'm going to pull a um, Oracle for you before I close it out here, and I'll be coming out with some weekly readings here for you guys. You know, the goat's been coming. I'm not going to take that one. Let me get a better shuffle. The goat's been coming out quite a bit. And the goat oracle was, um, you know, more about if you are, you know, following your words, you know, what you say, are you doing it? And it's also saying not to, um, uh, maybe I should pull that one out, huh? Son of a gun. Let me try this. Let me do this. I want a better shuffle here. I went through a few readings already, so... All right, and I'm going to find the goat one here for you because it was the first one that came out. So, there it is. All right, because that was a good message as well. Um, all right, let's see here. Number 19, so we have the goat. Yeah, I was, I was just looking back at what the goat meant, and then I was like, you know what, that's... I guess that's meant to be on that one. I, you know, I sometimes just like some new oracles. All right, don't don't yell at me. All right, so it says reliability. It says, is your word reliable? Can you be counted upon? Make your way successfully, step by step, steady as she goes. Nourish yourself. We should climb mountains, not carry mountains. So that is your first oracle. Your second one here is what is that number thirteen here? Tarantula. So it says connection. It says it is time to bring together desperate aspects of your life. Everything is connected. When you are afraid or unsure, it is important to know that you are never alone. You can do magic. We all can. All right. So that is your Oracle Capricorn. If this resonated or helped in any way, please do hit that like. And um, oh, you know what? Before I do close it out, give me one second. I do my three cards. Any further advice here for Capricorn? Further advice here for Capricorn here. You have the Five of Pentacles. Good thing I did that. Good thing I did that. Three of Swords. And the Empress. Don't forget who you are, okay? Because with the... Uh, the, the so, okay, so connection-wise, okay? Five of Pentacles, this is an energy of losing hope. Maybe you feel like things are not coming together. There's a three of swords here. There's there's a sense of healing and, and disappointment, but also be aware of negative thinking. And you have the empress here. So we have the emperor and empress. So if you feel like there's you know a future connection not coming together, there is someone here in the future. Because again, we have that ten of cups sitting up there. If you want it, there is a connection coming together that is vibrating at a level that you're vibrating okay so that is coming in but i do pick up at energies or maybe some of you guys are feeling like something like that's not coming together for you and i feel like again with the page of cups the ten of cups being over here it's like you have the opportunity in the future but right now you're focused on yourself but it, it don't think like it's not coming in have faith have trust that divine timing is is taking place here okay just with the negative with the three of swords and the magician being in your reading it's like be cautious not to manifest stuff here that are negative thoughts because then that negative stuff will start happening. So be in this higher font energy. So whoever needs to hear that, it's like don't don't give up hope. Uh, things are shifting here for you. Uh, you may feel like that, you know, especially in this area here where you're trying to, you know, trying to figure things out and trying to move in, in a direction that works for you. But you might catch a little bit with that hermit energy. Maybe you're just feeling like, you know, things are not really coming together. Maybe you wanted to meet someone new or maybe you wanted to build something with someone. 
it is coming in, okay? It's just that, um, you know, Seven of Pentacles too, it's like things will come together, but it's going to take time. So really just go with the flow on that, all right? So connection-wise, if you're single, I can see that energy coming in, but right now it's about you, all right? So whoever needed to hear that. All right, Capricorn, that is your reading, and until next time, we'll see you. Guys, have a good one.